Okay guys, I've been asked a few questions about my printer setup. So I thought I'd give a run through for what I've done to my CTC printer um, to make it print the way it does and a few other improvements I've done. Okay, to start off with, down the front here, you can see I've put a um, panel on um, that angles display up towards me so I can actually see it while standing. Makes life a lot easier. And then the one to the right here has the um, controller pad on it, which before when it was in the wood, the buttons used to get stuck all the time. Now they don't, so I can press buttons to heart's content and they work and they don't get stuck and repeat the commands. So you get loading filament and unloading filament over and over again. Um, on the side here, where the, sorry, a little bit hard here, where the SD card used to go, it's now around here in the side of the box makes life easier as well it's easier getting in and out than where it was before don't use it that much but it's there down here is a switch which controls the fan so it turns that one on and if I switch it off it switches off so it's on manual control at the moment because the CTCs um, don't have the header for the fan and they also don't have um, a MOS, uh, MOSFET to actually control the fan either in software so even if you sort it on there there's no control so I've done it with the fan I am looking at there's another mod that will automatically do it at a certain Z height uh, I'm looking at doing that I haven't done it yet I just got to buy some um, more end stop switches and another um, freeway switch but I'll do that later on as you can see from what I just showed you then, I have active cooling, which doesn't work very well for Zoom. Um, that cools all the way up under. Wait a second, I'm going to take it out of the little holder I've got it in because it's, I can't get where I want. Sorry about the fingers. Under here, it cools air all around both the heads so that the PLA gets cooled really quick and I can do much better bridging than I could before. Um, when I put that fan on, I had the problem of when it got to the end stop, it was hitting on the one I had originally, which was blue like the, the cable chain. Um, this had a, another side along here. This fan, when it got to the end, would hit the um, bottom of this holder before it would hit the limit switch, which I'm not pointing at. Oh, sorry about the camera work here. Before I hit the limit switch, which means it would not stop and it would just sit there going clunk, 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 until we gave up. Um, sorry, I had to make a little thing with, I just cut a little bit off of it. I would link you to my modification to it, but I want to have a look for all the links for this, for this will be down below. Um, I found out that someone else had already done the same thing and uploaded it only a couple of days ago, so I thought I'll just link to theirs. Um, the cable chain, which makes life a lot better because um, right at the start I had one of mine, the wires in this break, when they ran the original way, um, which meant that the end stop did not work, which was a bit of fun for a while when I was trying to figure that out. Um, I've also printed nice little corners here, cover up the holes, wires go into, same with that side, I'll just show you, they, uh, generally they pop out easily. There's two different ones I've done, some of which have the back bit cut out, which are for the ones with the cables, to the hide away, and then there is also the ones without the bit in the corner, so they've got all the way to the corner. Um, and the cables don't fit through there. Um, you might have noticed this bill plate. Um, Print and Z bill plate, 8x10, so it's a lot bigger than the actual one. It's got binder clips. Take them off. And the actual bill plate underneath where the heater part is, is a lot smaller, as you can see. And the extra little extensions for the binder clips go on are actually meant for glass, but I tried doing glass, glass kept on breaking except for one which I did before 
I had these little extensions, which was I cut to the same size as this. That lasted for ages before it cracked. But every other one I tried since then just keeps on cracking. So I've just gone to Print and Z and gone this the zebra plate works great. Now black on one side, white on the other. It's just a little bit, little bit of stuff of still on there. But if I really wanted to clean it up, I could get a bit of um, sandpaper and just sand it off. And I clip it on because basically that way it's always at the same spot. It'd be hard to do this one handed. Probably shouldn't bother clipping it back on the video. Okay, what else have we done? Okay, another really worthwhile mod to do is the play blocks with a bearing in there that stops um, a lot of the wobble and backlash that you get. I have also taken out the little metal springy clips that were in here. I just tightened them up by hand afterwards, got rid of a lot of the issues. Um, I've also printed off these for the Z top and bottom. There's one piece rather than the original one which was wood, it was two pieces, um, and was loose. So basically the whole thing could wobble easily. It's firmed this up a lot. Um, I've also done the kit I got for the bearings, for the pillow blocks. Um, had an extra bearing that I've um, put into here, and that's locked the top in. I have heard that that might not be good, but so far it's been working well for me. So until it causes any issues, I'm sticking with it. Um, so basically that means my bill plate is actually hard to move by hand because it, it's locked quite in quite well, but it still works fine when I do jog. Not a problem. It's been steady. The only issue I had when I first put it on was that this white part, which is not showing up that well, it gets up to the top. There's no reason I'm bringing this up, so I'll just show you something else. Now, as you can see, it just clears there. When I first put it on, it didn't and it hit that white part before it hit the end stop, which wasn't good. Um, okay, back around. Underneath, instead of having the little wing nuts it came with, we have got these printed knobs, which make it nice and easy to turn, and just little bits at a time. Um, also, when I put the build plate on before, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this, Alright, uh, so the little yellow part in there, I printed that as a little bit of an extra stopper so that it stops a little bit early, so that the build plate doesn't get knocked on and I don't have to make it too tight. Um, I also have a Logitech C70 in a case, um, doesn't look like a C70 anymore, but it's in there. Um, I took it out of the case to get the focal ring, um, which means I can make it focused on the bill plate, which gives me my time lapse prints. Um, cable sort of all tied up around with some, uh, what's it called, hot glue. Um, you might see it's a little bit loose there, but I had to pull the side off the other day when I was doing the pillow blocks. Um, up the top here, I have a Raspberry Pi. Um, all my prints go through that. There's no prints that really don't. Um, so with that and the GPX plugin, I can print from Cura, which makes my life a lot easier. I can also print from Craftware, which technically neither of those support um, MakerBot style printers. But because of the GPX plugin, it all does, it all works really well. And I wouldn't use MakerBot's, um, MakerBot desktop software for control at all, because my prints were a lot worse when I was using that. Um, now the only other thing I've got left to do is uh, my printer is in a IKEA IVAR um, cabinet 
Um, what I've done is my spools uh, on a broomstick, which as you can see, um, the broomstick, I made a little um, cut down to size, pasted, uh, printed this off, which I've um, put a link up to, just a cylinder with a hole in it. I just hot glued it in, and then this little shape here, which just sits over the rail, comes down, the, the uh, broomstick goes through, and on the other end, all I've done is, is put a Allen key in there to hold it in so it can't slip out. So the broomstick can't slip out. It normally goes about there. And basically the roll just feeds down straight into the printer. So that's basically my setup. Um, tools I have nearby at all times is little picks for cleaning up stuff, files for cleaning up stuff, wires, good for cutting as well. Scraper for getting off the bed. This blade is actually quite blunt now, but it doesn't matter because all it is is for getting anything just underneath to lever it off because the bill plate actually bends. Tweezers for getting bits of filament. You might see them in some of my time lapses. And from one of my other prints, my little bin full of scraps. Um, as you can see, you know, there are some scraps in there, just bits and pieces from printing. And basically, that's it. Um, so, what's your printing guys?